more job cuts, this time at Ford, 8,000 job cuts to help fund investments in the electric vehicle department. This is a shift. This is the ongoing movement from combustion engine to electric vehicle. The eliminations, they say, will come in the newly created Ford Blue unit, which is responsible for producing internal combustion engine vehicles, as well as other salaried operations throughout the company, according to some people familiar with the information. We turn our attention to one of the men behind this scoop, Bloomberg Auto reporter Keith Norton. So talk us through it. Was this always going to be Jim Farley's plan or is this a bit of a change of tack? You know, Jim Farley said back in March that he wants to cut $3 billion from the company. He said, we have too many people. And he needs the internal combustion engine vehicles, the traditional traditional gas burners, to be more profitable to help fund the $50 billion that Ford intends to spend on electric vehicles through 2026. What do you make of the 8,000 number? What I love about our FA function, Keith, as you go, when you see as of the la end of last year, about 183,000, you want to take eight from that. That takes us down to some of the lowest employee levels that we haven't seen since about 2013 or so. Rough estimates, again, on an annual basis, according to our numbers. What is the size and scope of this? Yeah, so, I mean, it's not going to be hourly employees, which is included in that larger number you just mentioned. It's going to okay. be salaried employees. And in the United States, they have 31,000 salaried employees. We don't know that all these cuts will be in the United States, but they will primarily be in the United States. So this is a large chunk of their salaried workforce. Again, CEO Jim Farley has said that, that they are not competitive on cost, mm -hmm. that they under-earn, in his words, on their both of their, their internal combustion vehicles and particularly these days their EVs, which actually have turned into being unprofitable because of high commodity costs and warranty costs. Keith Norton, always ahead of the curve with some of these scoops. We thank you, your work with Ed Ludlow, of course, Bloomberg Auto Reporter there.